Hi, and welcome back to my home, The Boundary Between Worlds. Thank you so much for being here. I am going to be doing the weekly horoscope reading for Aries for July. So I've got the tarot, I've also got the runes, and yeah, let's just get straight into it and suss out what's going on in July, Aries. Sorry, already throwing cards on the ground. sense that July brings a lot of good to you but I also get the sense that there is a pretty a pretty big ending as well okay I do get the sense this ending is linked in with with a person very close in your life okay um, definitely very close in your personal life for some of you this could be a partner for others of you it could it, it's just somewhere where there's a bond right there's this really strong bond and and connection between you and a lot of love um i do get the sense though that there is some sort of end and there is a loss a loss associated right and i feel like that comes from a lot of a lot of arguments a lot of disagreements and a lot of lack of support i'm sensing um it's kind of like they don't have your back, but they got other people's backs in a sense. And I feel like, but in saying this, I feel like it brings a clarity, right? In saying this, I feel like there is such a clarity that comes to you in July because you realize that there are people who do have your back, just maybe not from the avenues you expected, right? And I feel like it, you, I feel like it's, even though you may find there are some, there is an ending and there are some people exiting, there are also going to be people that are entering, right? And I feel like everything is happening in order to allow you to grow, in order to allow you to move forward. And little do you know, there is so much that is coming to you, right? There is so many new beginnings. There are so many new opportunities. And it's kind of like everything that happens is in order to get you there, right? In order... For even though you can't see it now, it will come. There is also this need, um, this need for you to know that you've got it, right? You've got this. The path you're going on, you've got this, right? You you can really, you've got the power within you to to get the life that you want, to get what you seek, right? You've got the power in you to take your dreams from that box of just being dreams and bring them into a reality. And I feel like for some of you, these these dreams involve love, right? Dreams of love, dreams of finding that soulmate and having that long lasting love is what I'm sensing. What I do see is regardless, it's kind of like, it's like everything is gonna come to you, right? In due course, in its own time. I feel like, like I said, I feel like July has some pretty heavy ending, but I feel like everything is making way for so much good that is going to come to you. I feel like you are definitely going to come out of July with this insight, right? With this insight that just lets you know you're on track. You're heading in the right direction. Also gives you that power back of yourself, right? I feel like a lot of you have been kind of caught up in this web of everybody else's crap, everybody else's karma, everybody else's dramas. And I feel like some of you even caught up in major legal matters as well, right? And I feel like the big thing to know is everything is coming. Everything is coming to rebalance, to realign, if you allow it, right? If you make way, if you accept the ending when it happens, right? I feel like it's, there's a need to know that everything that's happening is happening in order for you to get what you deserve, in order the universe wants you to get what you deserve, right? It just needs that mindset. It needs that shift in your actions, in your perspective. But I feel like you are doing so much to bring that to you. All I see is you are doing so much to bring yourself success. You are doing so much to bring what you want, you know, towards you rather than just talking about it. All I see is actions that you're taking, plans that you're making, um, Kind of like, you know, when you're in chess and you're always like a couple moves ahead, right? Like, well, you should be at minimum a couple moves ahead. So I feel like it's really that kind of idea, right? I feel like you're really forward planning. Wheels are always turning. At the same time as action's happening here, wheels are already turning for moving forward. 
and I feel like everything is everything is happening for a reason follow the ebb and the flow accept the things that come and the things that leave the things that start and the things that end as long as you find that harmony and balance within yourself you put yourself in this position to be able to have so many opportunities showered down upon you okay and to put yourself in a place where so much comes to you i do get the sense that there are even though like i said don't forget even though there are people leaving there are people coming all right what i definitely don't sense i sense that you don't need to worry that you don't need to worry about being on your own i know at times your family hasn't given you what you needed right hasn't backed you up where they've needed to but at the same time it's like even when you feel locked out from them, you've got the key if you want it, right? Everything, I sense that everything that's happening is happening in July to put you in a position to come out on top, to put you in a position to learn, to grow, to overcome. Um, and yeah, let's just whack out the rooms and see what else we've got going on there, Aries. So I do get the sense, right, like I was saying, there are going to be ups and downs. There are going to be challenges in July, okay, without it. I feel like, I feel like without doubt, sorry, um, I feel like a lot of these challenges are going to be within, they are going to be psychological because of, like I said, it's like there's so much coming to you, but then there's also things that are ending, things that are being taken away. So I feel like there is a lot of challenge within yourself to stay centered, to stay positive, to stay in a place where you're able to keep control of yourself in a sense, right? But I feel like the big thing to remember is you've got everything you need to overcome these issues, right? Whatever these challenges are that you face, you can overcome them and you will. And I sense that you do because it's kind of like it's all a journey of yourself. Everything that seems to be happening in July is to evolve you, to take you further, to put you in this bigger position, right? But to help you evolve on such a bigger spiritual level, okay? And to help you evolve as an actual being, right? Not as just one of many, one of a herd, right? This herd mentality that everyone seems to have. We are individuals, we are people, okay? Every single one of us, if we choose to use our mind, we can do so much, right? But a lot of the time, the struggles, the things that happen, circumstances, throw us off course and I feel like and and can get you so stuck in this physical plane and I feel like so much of what is happening is in order to bring you back right in order to bring you back to that spiritual side in order to bring you back within yourself and to order to take you out of that mindset of the many and to use your mind for yourself just because someone said something you know I feel like you're in this position where you're just starting to grow, you're starting to evolve your brain so much. And I feel like in turn, there are so much abilities that are coming out of that. I feel like there is so much creative and technical abilities that are coming from you going down this journey of yourself, from you deciding that you want passion, you want creativity, what you want, and deciding to take it and go after it, right? That is how you find your happiness. That is how you find your happy place, by taking yourself there. No one can tell you what you want because no one knows what you want. Everyone that thinks they know what someone else wants, right, is just purely caught up on a perception on something their brain has decided until the person themselves tells you right um, and I feel like there is this big shift in you where it's like you're just aligning back with such such a greater purpose and again this purpose on being able to separate yourself from that many to find 
what makes you happy, to find the life that you want to live, to find, and I feel like for some of you, you might want to do things unconventionally. You might want to totally shake things up. The point is there is nothing wrong. You can't do anything wrong as long as you take the steps towards it, as long as you take the actions and move forward, right? I feel like there are going to be uncontrolled events regardless. There are always going to be things out of your hand. It's about just weathering it, right? Focus on what you can control which is you, you are on this journey of yourself, embrace it, allow yourself to go so much further and so much is gonna to come to you in reward. And yeah, that's everything, thank you for watching. See you all later.